We're going to have showers and storms, especially this afternoon, widespread and this evening. Very juicy atmosphere out there. 79 degrees will be our high. I'm almost guaranteed you're going to get wet today. Tomorrow, some scattered showers and storms. I'm thinking now more like early in the morning, and then maybe if that front doesn't clear us fast enough, we could see a couple in the afternoon. But it's going to be much different than today in terms of coverage area, down to 50%. And most of that's the morning because if you got plans to start your weekend Friday night, who doesn't, right? Friday night should be dry, overnight low of 66 degrees. Saturday looks mainly dry, except for a slight chance of an isolated storm in the afternoon, 87. So you'll be able to get outside and try to see uh, how wet your grass really got and how much it grew or the weeds grew from this recent rain that we're getting. So what we've got for today is a marginal risk. Once again, only a one on a scale of one to five, but it's for the entire area that we could see a damaging downburst wind. That's the main threat. They had a couple tornado warnings uh, down to the southeast yesterday, so I won't rule anything like that out, but I wouldn't plan on it. But the main threat is damaging winds. A little more organized up in that yellow up through Richmond north of us where there's a slight risk. Flash flood watch. This area got a lot of rain yesterday. Parts of Wake County and down the I-95 corridor. Could see another one to three inches of rain possible today. That flash flood watch starts at noon today and ends tomorrow morning around this time.